we're out here for a little uh, camping trip. Thought it'd be a great time to talk about some of the common outdoor gear challenges and uh, some simple solutions. So I'm going to talk about one that's very common with binoculars and uh, your little uh, uh, your little covers here on the ends. Uh, this pair is uh, Bushnells. I know that uh, this is common with Nikons and lots of the, the different common um, brands of binoculars. Um, where we have these fun little little covers on the ends and, and you know you got your objective end cover this one's pretty good because it's uh, it's anchored to the strap All right but these guys on the back here they're just uh, they're just hooked on with these little dealies here and I don't know about you but I'm out and about enjoying uh, nature I'm trying to use my binoculars and I'm always concerned about losing these because these little rings wiggle work their way down right they work their way down and eventually up oh, gone I can't tell you how many trips I've been on uh, where that's happened and I've had to look around and find it fortunately I've always managed to find it um, but but again how much of my time am I spending thinking about hanging onto these covers versus enjoying being out where I want to be so an easy way to, uh, to deal with this uh, little scenario here, you know, with these guys that like to slip down, slip down, slip down, slip off, um, is uh, a little solution I thought of using zip ties. Now, back here on my table, um, got some 8-inch blacks and some 11-inch blacks. Um, the 8-inch ones work fine um, for these binoculars, just barely. Um, the 11 inches will definitely work if, uh, if you've got a pair that's a little bit bigger um, around that has this challenge. And um, The other thing, of course, is I, I pick black because they match the, uh, the black cover case, right? But, uh, you can obviously get clear, or they have the ones in little camouflage colors, depending on the uh, color of your um, binoculars. And again, I've got some 8 inches and some 11 inches. Um, for this, we're going to use the 8s. So, I'm going to grab uh, two zip ties out of my pack here. And i got my uh, Leatherman to help us uh, cinch and cut them. Obviously, you can just use some pliers and some scissors. It's not a very complicated uh, process here. Okay, so let's talk about how we're going to do this. Um, so I thought first, my first thought, if you look at the little cover piece, um, was to put the zip tie around and capture. So I put it right over the top of this little, this little kind of back strap sort of hinge piece. But I found when I do that, um, it interferes with this clearing the objective because it doesn't let it swing down all the way. So I decided I really didn't like that because I obviously don't want to interfere with the operation of the binoculars. Um, so I decided to do instead was to take this zip tie and put it right underneath that piece. See how it's underneath? So the hinge is fully clear and position it so that it's back far enough that the cover is fully on and it doesn't cause any undue stress to this little retaining piece. Um, so that way when, when you open it, it fully hangs down like it's supposed to. It does not interfere at all with my ability to use the binoculars. Right, but again, my goal is I'm not pushing this up all the time because I'm so worried as it wiggles its way down of, of it escaping. I keep pushing it up. I keep pushing it up. If you do this, you know what I'm talking about. Because, you know, it just takes one little open the binoculars and oops, it's gone, right? Alright, so anyway, um, you're going to do it with the, uh, with the cover on. So let me see if I can do this here uh, delicately. Alright, and the other thing I was trying to do is to get the, um, the zip tie piece so it's kind of out of the way. So I'm kind of looking to have the big piece sort of over here. So again, it's kind of out of the way. I don't want it to uh, interfere or get my finger caught on it all the time or, or whatever. So I'm just going to cinch this guy in just kind of loosely. 
I got it like in there like two clicks. I'll close the lid on this guy so I can position it. So now I got the lid closed. I'm gonna push this guy up here a little bit. Now we're out in the forest and we've got a big truck backing up. That's nice. Okay. Well, sort of in the forest. We're at a campground. Alright, so you can see how I've kind of got that positioned there. And again, the zip tie is not over the top of any of the rubber of this cover. And so I think I've got it kind of where I want it. I'm going to cinch down. I'm going to open this up. And push that back a little bit. I'm going to go grab my Leatherman. So if you work with zip ties, you kind of know that you want them to stay forever. Yeah, I want to pull on it with a pair of pliers against the other piece to make sure it's in there real good, and it is. And then, and I get these in here to cut this is an interesting question, and the answer is no, <laughs> I can't, based on where I position them. So if you run into that problem, always good to have a plan B. I'm gonna go for my little mini here, because he'll be able to get in there and make that cut without any issues. There we go. So that's one side down. Good to go. Good to go. All right. Still got the flexibility. And I cannot push this down past this zip tie. So this is not going to escape. All right, so let's do the other side. Need another zip tie here. All right, so we're gonna do this basically the same process. So I'm gonna try and have the little zip tie piece end about the same general location. So I'm just gonna get this on a little loosely. Yeah, heard it click once. Right, just put that on. Make sure he's on there nice and good. I uh, hear a little uh, chicory. All right. <laughs> Some interesting daytime noises going on here. All right, so I think that's about where I want it. So again, this uh, covers on all the way, and um, I'm gonna get my uh, Leatherman back out to make sure that guy is clicked down real good. So he's got a little bit of space he can clear on that one. So I'm gonna grab the end the pliers. Mm. All right, now you see it's it's at the right it's on the right spot, so he gets the cover gets on all the way. See if you look at it that way, I really have no space there, very little space there because I cinched it down with the with the with the pliers. You know, pull one more little tug before I cut it. So after you cut the end off, there's really nothing more you can do with that. All right, it's good to go. Grab my scissors. All right, nice and trimmed. All right, and if that little teeny piece there, if you end up getting your fingers in it, rubs you, you can get a little uh, knife and uh, slice it off the rest of the way. Um, but I'll let you worry about that if that's what you want to do. So here we are. Covers come open. Clears the objectives all the way, or I'm the. Um, Clear the lenses all the way. Cannot get this thing off even if I wanted to. The only way I'm going to be able to get these covers off now is to cut the zip ties, um, which is not a big deal. Just cut it right around there. So, problem solved. Again, uh, pretty simple. Grab some 11 inches or some 8 inches, depending on the diameter of your um, binoculars. I think the 8 inches are, work really well if they fit yours because you have very little to cut off um, on there. Um, but 11 inches if a little bit bigger. And now I am problem solved and the look's not bad. Again, black on black. So I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you have this problem, definitely do this. Save you a lot of uh, worry and let you focus on uh, what you're out in the woods to do rather than worrying about your uh, binocular covers. Thanks a lot.
Okay, so we just got back from first time trying out the new uh, put the zip ties to keep the uh, covers on your binoculars approach. Uh, we went on a big hike. issues whatsoever with uh, keeping these covers on as you can tell with those zip ties these will not move down past uh, to the end of the binoculars and fall off so that was great uh, one change I did make um, since I did the uh, installation video a couple hours ago was I uh, when I did the installation video I had these little guys up here I kind of decided just from a look and a feel they didn't interfere with my hands at all when I was handling the binoculars um, but I did decide um, to just rotate them, and I did it without taking them off or replacing them. I just rotated them down to here because I thought they were a little bit less in the way. Um, so I got them both down there now, and again, it was just a little rotate it like that. So all good to go, but it uh, worked real well. No issues. I was able to free my mind and enjoy uh, the forest and the big trees and... Uh, and the rivers and all the fun little sights we saw today and not stress about my uh, my uh, cover lids coming off and being lost somewhere in the wilderness. So, thanks a lot. If uh, it's a problem you're having, hope it works for you. Talk to you later. So, hope you enjoyed our video and um, this fix was beneficial to you. I am now very happy because uh, my binoculars are good to go and I will not be losing these covers. Um, if you like these types of videos, uh, we're going to work hard to put more uh, out there uh, of uh, common uh, things that you can fix or ways that you can uh, solve little problems. Uh, if you like us, please uh, subscribe and we'll see you soon.